This explore surprised us like no other. Welcome to the famous 99p petrol station where we found hidden vintage cars. Not only was this a petrol station back in the day, but a garage specialising in coaches. Once a booming business, but as time went on, the owner struggled with a hoarding problem which left him bankrupt. These have been left ever since. Hello everyone and welcome to the video. Now this is one place I know you guys definitely will love because vehicle graveyards seem to do the absolute best on here which is amazing because they are my favourite explorers to do as well as with industrials. Now this place is nicknamed, if you'd seen by the drone footage, the 99p petrol station because this is what it was back in the day it was 99p which is absolutely amazing and there is so many coaches here you can see with the drone footage as well there is so much here to actually see i'm so excited to show you this there's a video on my channel i did this about a year ago but it was pitch black again we are fighting the darkness a little bit but i've actually got a torch this time so i'll be able to show you guys a bit more now let me go <laughs> i'm gonna walk a bit more forward so you can see it that is the infamous 99p sign which i think is amazing that they left that there as well but that is, shows you how long this place has been abandoned. Um, now, sadly, some of these coaches have been burnt out now, which is devastating to see. But we are still going to go around because there's a lot more around that corner, which are thankfully left untouched. And it's so much better to see this in the daylight. So I'm going to whiz you around and take you on a little tour. So these are just some of the coaches which are here. The Greyhound Browns of... Oh, God, I don't even know what that says. I don't even want to attempt it. As you can see how long they've been here for quite some time which is really really cool to see but sadly a lot of them are here because they've suffered some kind of how should I think of the word catastrophe oh my god I hope you know that little for five seconds then I was thinking about how to say it wow these are the old toilets I don't even know if you can actually get into these can you no thank god <laughs> look at the old toilet sign as well which has all been left this place definitely did revisit. This has been one that stayed in my heart for a little bit. So again, this is a school bus. Look at the moss. You can see how overgrown these places are. Um, I believe this is an office. <gasps> no way. How did you get inside? Let's go in. Oh, look at the postcards. Oh my God. Okay, so this has been a bit stripped nice little piano though this has been a little bit stripped out as you can see oh look at the floor the floor has got its own ecosystem going on but this is not all of it this is only part of it so this was, would have been his workshop as you can see these are the old oh god this floor ain't it this is all the settees and stuff settee cushion seats that have all been ripped out I'm just left here. Wow, so are they the oh they're the toilets. Let's not go in the toilets. Let's go. Hmm? Wow. Look at them. Everything's been left. Why is it not great or bad? Yeah, look at it. I was saying look at the floor. The floor looks like it's got some ecosystem. What's down here? Oh is that that's a coach, isn't it? Mental. It's absolutely mental. There's not much up there, did you say? Right. I'm going to venture straight out to the other coaches then. Yeah, so as you can see, that was like the inside office bits. Um, we are now going to move around to some of the other coaches. Um, so I do want to get a nose into them. Unfortunately, some are burnt this way, but they are better around there. So from the last video, you will have noticed here, there was a massive bus, but there appears to have been some kind of fire um, because all of them are also burnt out there. The bus isn't here and it looks like the front top bit of there has been torched a little bit, which is absolutely disgusting to see, to be quite honest with you. And we're going to go in and look at these other ones, which thankfully haven't been torched by arsonists, but I'm not entirely sure why they <laughs> tripped up then. <laughs> why someone would want to do that, to be completely honest with you. But we're going to have a quick look around here. What the fuck? What are you doing? How are you doing that? The keys are... The... Shut up. <laughs> How do I get in? How do I open this? I open the door. I open... How do I... Oh, I see. Oh, my fucking... What, what have you done? Where's the key? 
Oh, it stinks in here, man. What were you doing? Just pressing the pedals? Yeah, no, I was driving it. Are you driving it yet? Where are we going? Imagine trying to drive that. Oh, that's what he was doing. Imagine, fucking hell, look at all them. Oh my god, I could not imagine trying to drive this. This is, oh my god, I need for that. There's so much to think about. It's proper slanted, this as well. Wow. You can really imagine the people on here as well. This is this is the best kind of exports. Do you know, trying to, that emergency bar door is the worst thing I've ever seen. How, where did these guys go? This is the <laughs> pop words would not come out. Hello? How did you get in? Guys? How did you get in? Help me. So this is what I was on about with the newer ones. Let's go on to these. A bit more. No smoking, eh, on the older buses. Oh, God. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, God, my heart went through my mouth and I'm not going to go any further. You can see what I mean with the old type buses. I love the colour of them seats. The seat shows off peak periods. This has been abandoned for quite some time. As you can tell, which is a shame, I need to watch that as I step round. I think that has been stripped for some parts, but you can see the amount of algae and white mould. Let me just try and avoid breathing that mould in. Oh my god, look at nature reclaiming them. So there is some as you can see on the drone footage, which is all the way back there, but I don't think I'm actually going to be able to reach them because they're too much in the wilderness. Oh my gosh. Oh god, I really, I really fell over that. Look, it just goes on and on and on. I don't know how many of these you can actually get on. No, you can't get on there. Let's, um, let's go down here, see what's further down here. I don't know where the boys have gone. Oh my god. I'm gonna struggle to get through there. This is what I mean, it's just trees and trees of coaches. It is one that's been around, I think, for quite a while. And it's so cool, I think, to see. And actually checking back on the video and people checking the number plates and stuff. And you can see how long they've actually been left. Wow. Why would someone do that? You can see, though, how long and how quick the decay has taken a hold. It's destroyed everything. It really has. Oh, there's just loads. I couldn't. I can't remember there being this many. Oh, that one's been. I think that one's got something inside. The problem is, I know some of these aren't. Oh God. You see what I mean? But this one. Look at the windows. All gone. And nature is just coming through here. Wow. It's just, I don't. I thought that would gas kind of so there. Some of them you can see where they were just used for storage, which is a shame. Like I was saying to them, imagine having that much money to use coaches for storage. But some of them were also burnt out and given to the keeper, and he was meant to be renovating these, getting them back on the road, or scrapping them and using for parts, which he did do for quite some time. But sadly, um, that's, that was solid. Jesus. Um, but sadly, yeah. Uh, he wasn't able to do it after so many years of doing it. Wow. Look at the BT film. Jesus. Who is he charging people to take film calls? But the best of all, so this is where he would have done the work on all the vehicles, as you can see. Parts, plant pots of every single kind. Seats of every different kind. Them wheels are huge, like, that's the size of my leg. Wow. So I've never been able to get into this one. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> I cannot believe that. What does that say? Speed limit fitted a 1987. Wow. 
That is how long some of these have been there. So that has been ripped out for parts. Some of them have been burnt, but then he's tried to rescue him best he can. Obviously, there's only so much he can do with these, unfortunately. If we carry on going down here, you are. <laughs> do you know what? It's the old. A singer. The singer's still inside. It cares. I can't remember last time we did a band where there wasn't a singer inside. Yeah, but that's a full, that's a full, not a yeah. the Western, but that's a full kit. It's still folded away. I'll show you again. Still folded away in the How do you? I don't even know how to use one. Do you know what? They probably, we probably should be using stuff like this nowadays, shouldn't we? Classic, which it is. Wow. Let me go round to the side of this one. Like you can see with that one, that one's had an accident with the crack on the windscreen, so that's why it's coming to here. Um, it'll have probably have had something else wrong with it. Let me climb up in here. So we've started to strip the seats out, but stop for whatever reason. This is entirely shaking while I'm stood here, I do not like that. And there's some brake fluid, a diesel fuel conditioner. Do you know what's nice? That's what I do. And it's got the 70 miles per hour limiter on it as well. Sticker just so you know exactly what you're doing. Wow. This is, this is a beauty, this is a beauty. I am as excited as this as you guys. So as you can see, this would have been I don't know what the word is, I can't think what it is to mind. Um, like the ramp, the ramp them up and they basically have to look underneath to see what's wrong with them. See so this one's from Chesterfield. So they are from absolutely everywhere. Oh, let me. Ah, so this one's still got the seats on it. As you can see. Um, oh god, there's still loads in here. But you can see the moss that has grown is so much especially when you walk down here you can see it a lot can you even get through there i think a lot of them have been sealed with moss and overgrowth yeah look at this though can't win them all you can't get through you can't get through any further dan it's mad isn't it when you yeah on the drone footage it's like do you know where this ends there's another like 20 over that way but they're that covered in trees you can't even see them anymore it's absolutely mental so the back side of the building like this is where it would have been concrete slab and paved and the moss is just growing all the way through and this was we've got an italian bus we've also got a greek bus here so these would have been used all around the world I think is absolutely nuts to like even think about these were that's in mint condition that one I don't know if I can even get into it I keep saying oh no ah look at that one I don't know if you can see that exactly let me try and press it on there you go you can see all the seats are still there what about oh, so this one's been burnt or been an accident it's one of the two unfortunately but the moss on this one, wow. Yeah, this has definitely been in an accident. Look at that, that's not even straight. It's just been stripped for parts, unfortunately. And then just left. And then this is the thing that I always found weird, is they were just a caravan, just a random caravan here. Um, whether they only used to stay in it, I'm not entirely too sure. Um, even, oh my God, you can get into it now. That's what I mean, no one has been in here quite some time as you can see and if they had there is some uh, pretty severe health benefits i think this one had a problem with it because it's got two um traffic cones there and two traffic cones on the back so maybe it's handbrake brake could have gone but a lot of these are not seeing the light of day for a very long time this is great. This is what? This is clean over the top of this door. How, how did you get to this one? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, now that's a big... Look at that step. Oh, be careful touching that. Look at my... I'm still going to take my leg up. Let me pull my head up, guys. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. This is a beast. This is a beast. Hold on. I'll grab him two seconds. He's just looking around the um, corner, I think. Look at that. Hmm. 
even want the seats just left. What? Why is there a random shoe? And uh, paper cups. Wow. Where's the, um, oh, is that the toilet? Do you know what? I've never used a toilet on a coach before. Look at TV. Are you being the driver today then? Yeah, I'll drive. Where are we going to? I don't know. Let's just go. Go to another bando. Put it into the sun. What do you do with that honked? I've shit myself, I'm not going to lie. This is what I was saying earlier. They've got a lot to think about, haven't they? There's a lot in front of them. It's not like... Oh, I hate the fact that the poor... Look at the stereo. Wow. You all right? <laughs> I don't like... Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. What are you doing? <laughs> Dad is now legless. They don't have toilets on the posh ones. You what? They don't have toilets. They've got handles on the back of the seat though. Oh yeah. What do you need them for? Why is the handles on the back of the seat? You can't get out the emergency exit though. Yeah. Wow. I think I, Look I at don't that. I don't think they are in the news, but it would have been nice. Well, it's a shame, isn't it, to be fair. Have you noticed as well, if you look on the back of the seats, how um, yeah, they are quite moldy, some of them yeah. have, you know, like the little basket things where you can put your stuff in. They've only got one on one side. So if you sat next to someone who you don't know, they can. there's only one on one side and then it inverts when you come up here. Look, do you see what I mean? One, some two, three. Off, you look. Oh, yeah, some aren't there. Yeah. Hmm. I don't think this one is in use no more. Um, look at the mould growing. Yeah, mould on Ooh. the seats. It's a shame because these seats look nice and this is a nice coach. It looks like a quite luxurious, luxury. Yeah. I don't think it looks good, like, like the leg room like that. It's just got no toilet, which I think is a bit weird. Yeah. Like, you, you need a toilet on a coach, surely, whether you push or not. God, that is a squeeze and a half. Yeah. Honda Accord. Honda Accord. I don't think I've seen any of them. Oh, who is that? They're pretty neat. <laughs> What's a Porsche? Porsche 924. I, um, a bit ago, did a um, detail on a Porsche 911. So are they just going, this, so they're going up each one, or is there just no correlation? It's like that one. Is it? Yeah. Right. Ghost. What the fuck? Ghost Fukushima. Um, I don't know what this one is, to be honest Austin. with you. It looks like a ta taxi. It's an Austin. An Aston Martin or just an Austin? Yeah, an Austin. An Austin, Austin sorry. BB9, new model, coming out this year. And look at it. Like, you can't hit. get it. Oh, you can get in the back. It's got the Hitler vinyls, black Jesus out TV, and red interior. That's crazy. Look at that. Look at that. Can't open the window. Is it one of the windy windows? Oh, yeah, windows now. With that, oh, my God. That just, so you can, like, prop it up. In that. Oh no! Oh god, I nearly dropped the light. Yeah, because that's how you open the door, isn't it? I remember my dad's Monday back in the day we used to have to wind them down. I don't think people understand the absolute pain that used to be to wind a window down. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit. The air conditioning was that a thing with some of these cars? Yeah. <laughs> it's a good old fashioned as my dad says. Just put window down, which is right though, isn't it? <laughs> wow. Oh yeah, and Austin, I can see it on here. On the engine and compartments. Wow, the Porsche is so much bigger compared to the that one. It's also newer. Yeah, look at it compared to that. It's like that were a beast running around on that, and then the Porsche. Is yeah, but listen, when this first came out, this sort of thought it'd be in there. Mm. It's a top of range car. Yeah, and now look at the way it just goes up and up. Oh, look at this real estate. Real estate. Oh yeah. Oh, were they selling houses as well? Oh my god, are these abandoned? Have <laughs> we just got a list of abandoned houses? No, they... Imagine, imagine though, that would be mint, wouldn't it? Let's try and find a... a year. Wow. There's loads down there, look, there's loads more. I'd probably say these are quite old, judging by the cars. Yeah. A look at the picture there. Oh wow, the pictures, them ones are maybe a bit better conditioned than the others, but yeah, maybe the weathers ones. have got in. And these are the old pumps. Wow. God, these are old. Very old. Look at all the mossiness. And all the water is just dripping down in them, so that were diesel. 
What was this? Um, I've no idea because they all say storm petrol on them. Oh my god, I just nearly tripped. I'm assuming, yeah, unleaded. So these were petrol. So they're more petrol than they had um, diesel. But as you can see, the darkness is closing in around us now. So I think we are going to be making a uh, swift exit back to the car. So unfortunately, we have reached the end of this explore, which is absolutely gutting. I have loved this so, so much. I just wish it would have been daylight. We were fighting daylight to get here. But unfortunately, we managed the drone footage and that was it. It won. Maybe one day I will do a visit, revisit the daytime, but I think with the torch you can see everything. It truly was like a classic coach graveyard. It was so, so amazing to see. And I absolutely love walking around, discovering the history and seeing like what the oldest ones were. It was it was definitely something that relit really the child and me. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Let me know what your favourite one was and if you would want to come and visit here and why and any memories you may have had on any of these coaches if you recognise them yourselves. But I'll catch you in a video very, very soon. Stay safe.